Well, Gil, I'm advertising MuleshoeTV.com, broadcast of the Muleshoe Mules versus the Canadian Wildcats football, brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Mohawk uh, Auto Parts, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Muleshoe Independent School District, McDonald's Restaurant, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, Leal's Tortilla Factory, and Precure Electric. Gil Reynolds with you here on the pregame. We're going to do, we found out late Thursday, Elliot was under the weather and he could not travel. Hopefully he gets better and he'll be back with us. Elliot Davis, our normal voice of the Mule Shoe Mules, back next week for our Mule Shoe versus Clyde homecoming live stream that we'll do from Benny Douglas Football Stadium, but keep him on your prayer list today. So I'll give you a little pregame here, and then we're just going to show you the game. The Mule Shoe Mules come in from District 2, 3A, Division 2. They're 3-0 on the 2024 season. They beat Brownfield in the first game on the road 63-6, to then back at home for the second game, and they beat La Mesa 74-42. to Last week, they beat New Home on the road again, 22-13 to in a hard fought game. The Canadian Wildcats are from District 1, 3A Division 2. They are 2-1 on the 2024 season, and they beat Canadian – uh, or they beat Elk City, Oklahoma, 32-27 to in their first game. Then they lost to Bushland in the second game, 42-21. to And then last week beat Dumas, 35-28. to We're up here in Canadian. First time I've been here. Don't know that the Mules have ever played Canadian before in the recent uh, past. But we are here at uh, Wildcat Stadium. And this is Canadian's homecoming game for their 2024 season. I'll give you the rosters for both teams real fast. On the Mules, not wearing number zero is Aaron Morales, a senior wide receiver linebacker. You hear Kazada is number one, wide receiver defensive back and a senior. Nathan Martins, the quarterback, wears number two and defensive back. He's a senior. Mauricio Herrera wears number three, wide receiver defensive back. Number four, Ryan Dominguez, wide receiver defensive back. He's a senior. Noah Hernandez is number five, wide receiver, defensive back, a sophomore. Johnny Hernandez, wide receiver, defensive back, and a junior. He wears number six, wearing number nine, Joaquin Arias, running back, defensive back, and a sophomore. Josue Sagala wears number 10, the great running back, defensive back, and sophomore. Donovan Moreno wears number 11, wide receiver, wide receiver, linebacker, and a senior. Hayden Burris wears number 12, running back and linebacker. He's a senior. Louis Valles wears number 13, wide receiver, defensive back, and a junior. Brayton Butler wears number 15, wide receiver, defensive lineman. He's a junior. Nehemiah Sanchez is a junior as well, wide receiver, linebacker, and wears number 17. Eduardo Sides wears number 18. He's a junior running back linebacker. Chris Diaz wears number 19, wide receiver, defensive back, and a senior. Jason Bowler, running back, linebacker, and a junior, number 20. Octavio Arias is number 21, wide receiver, defensive back, and a freshman. Cameron Rodriguez is a sophomore, wears number 22, and is a running back, defensive lineman. Evan Jenkins is an offensive lineman, defensive lineman, a sophomore, and he wears number 50 for the Mules. Alonzo Ramirez, offensive line, defensive line, is a junior, wears number 51. Number 55 is Aiden Mendoza. Offensive defensive line, he's a senior. Anthony Mendoza, number 60, both sides of the line. And a senior, Josiah, uh, Josiah Mendez, wears number 64 on both sides of the line and is a junior. Ethan Whitworth, number 66, offensive defensive line and a senior. Osmart Rodriguez, number 67, both sides of the line and a senior. Jake Villanueva is number 72. He is offensive defensive line and a junior. Daniel Mendoza, number 74, both sides of the line and a junior. Diego Molina, number 75, he's a junior, both sides of the line. Samuel Espinoza wears number 78 for the Mules and is on offensive defensive line and a senior. And Christian uh, Sanchez is number 80, wide receiver, defensive back, 
and a senior. Of course, the head uh, coach for the Mules and athletic director is Jason Richards. Associate head coach Aaron Simon. Offensive coordinator Chris Mosier. Defensive coordinator Daryl Davis. Co-defensive coordinator Jimmy Arias. Special teams coordinator Stephen Butler. A.J. Villanueva. Justin Reyna. Austin Ross are assistant coaches. Uh, along with Jackson Lee, Jonathan Chavez, Adrian Bustillos, and Jay Thaxton. The athletic trainer is Stephen Seymour. The superintendent is Dr. R.L. Richards. And the high school principal, of course, is Cindy Basir. Now turning to look at the Canadian Wildcats for 2024, their head coach is Andy Cavalier. And wearing number two for the Wildcats, Keelan Bailey's wide receiver defensive back, junior. Camden Cook is wearing number three, senior wide receiver defensive back. Number four, Zach Bryant, a freshman wide receiver defensive back. Julian Dominguez, number five, is a senior. And he's also wide receiver defensive back. Edward Pantoa, wearing number six, is a junior wide receiver defensive back. J.W. Coffey is wearing number seven for the Wildcats. He's a sophomore wide receiver defensive back. Junior Cervantes is wearing number eight, junior wide receiver defensive back. Clay Kendall is number nine, a senior quarterback and defensive back. Number 10, Isaac Assigns, a freshman wide receiver linebacker. Bridger Burris wears number 11 for the Wildcats, a sophomore wide receiver linebacker. Jacob Flores is number 12, a senior running back linebacker. Jet Cervantes wears number 13, a sophomore quarterback and linebacker. Chris Flores, a freshman wearing number 15, running back linebacker. Weston Mitchell is a freshman, quarterback defensive back, and he wears number 16. Number 17 is C.J. Jimenez for the Wildcats, junior, wide receiver, defensive back. Slayton Dickinson wears number 21, junior running back, linebacker. Riggs Pennington, number 22 for a Canadian, a junior, tight end, defensive line. Enrique Mondragon wears number 24, junior, wide receiver, linebacker. Wyatt Davis wears number 44, a senior tight end linebacker. Lucas Moreno is number 50, a senior offensive line, defensive line. Edward O. Uh, Jaquez, number 51, a sophomore, both sides of the line. Andres Perez, number 53, a senior, both sides of the line. Camden Sanchez, number 54, a senior, and on the line on both sides. Mark Haygood, number 55 for the Wildcats, a junior. And he's on the line as well on both sides. Uh, Brizen Wilmoth is number 56, a junior uh, lineman. Julius Gonzalez, number 57, a senior lineman. Nehemiah Harris, number 58, a senior lineman. Jackson Poe wears number 60 for the Wildcats, a junior lineman. uh, Jonah Harris wears number 62 for the Wildcats, a junior lineman. Yessi Flores, sophomore, number 64. He's on both sides of the line. Number 65, Braden Chumbly, is a junior on offensive-defensive line. Number 66, Louis Pantoa, a junior lineman. Marcus Herrera, number 71, a junior lineman. And then Daniel Jimenez uh, is wearing number 75, a junior lineman, along with Aiden Gerhardt, number 78, sophomore and lineman. And those are the 2024 Canadian Wildcats. Again, the head coach is Andy Cavalier. Assistant coaches are Cameron Copley, Morgan Brady, Tim Fletcher, Braden Gollum, Jeff Isom. Assistant coaches uh, uh, continued are Hayden Merkett, Chase Palmore, Brandon Wall. The superintendent of the Canadian IC is Dr. Julia McMain. We'll look at scores for week three up and down the Mule Shoe 2024 schedule. Roosevelt beat Brownfield last week, 50 to 18. La Mesa lost to Lakeview, 42 to 55. Of course, as we mentioned, Mule Shoe beat New Home, 22 to 13, and Canadian beat Dumas, 35 to 28. Of course, that makes Mule Shoe 3 and 0 on the season. Canadian 2 and 1 coming into this game. Clyde lost to Shallow Water. 21 to 54. Clyde's now one and two on the season. Dalhart uh, lost to Panhandle. 21 to 43. Dalhart is two and one. Roosevelt 
uh, beat Brownfield 50 to 18. That makes Roosevelt two and one. Littlefield uh, lost to Abernathy 22 to 26. That makes Littlefield two and one on the 2024 season. Then Slayton beat New Deal 26 to 17. Slayton is three and zero, oh. and Idaloo beat Leveland 33 to 16. That makes them three and zero oh as well. Well, as we mentioned, uh, Elliot. Davis, our normal voice of the Mule She Mules, had an emergency situation come up late Thursday, and he was not able to travel with us to Canadian, so we will show you the uh, game now. Sorry, with no play-by-play. Let's hope that Elliot is back with us next week for our live stream versus Clyde back at home for homecoming for the Mules. The Gillam Advertising, MuleshoeTV.com, coverage of Muleshoe versus Canadian football, brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Mohawk Auto Parts, Muleshoe Independent School District, McDonald's Restaurant, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, Leal's Tortilla Factory and Precure Electric. Pass 
Austin has caught the pretty for sure. Swim pass, Swim Dickinson is caught by the left back. Jason brings that ball out the cross. Two. Two of the play is going to be the first against the Wildcats. It's going to be the second 13 for the Wildcats. Hand up goes from the Swim Dickinson. Um, he is uh, out the cross. He's going to go. Pass is caught the plate to uh, the to Cook, and he is tackled at the uh, positive. The handoff to Anderson is reversed to number three. And he keeps it wide, down the ground. He makes his way to the 20-yard line. He is back close to the 10 20-yard line. Kimber with the keeper on the speed option. He cuts it inside the left half and he is back up the line. Rick Run. He's gonna make it inside the five, but he is left. Take on the play by the McKinnon. That's why you see that for the heels. And before the play can be snapped, we have a timeout. And by the Wildcats, turn to action, it'll be Wildcats ball. Third and go, it's in the fourth. Third and go for the fourth for the Rockets. <laughs> Kimber on the play action pass. <laughs> it appears that he's on grabbing his call, and that's going to bring up fourth down for the Rockets. Thank you. 
is going to give the ball back to him. After the penalty is enforced, that's going to move the... Uh, Trigger hands off to Richardson, but he makes his way past the line of the game and is tackled at the... Trigger is quick toss to Richardson. Out across the right side edge. It's going to be good for... Uh, Trigger rolls out. Pass it to the 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 Put up again for it. He's out across the left side here. He makes Michigan Bureau, the red paper, where you can face the team in front of you. The first pass to the three to the left is caught, so that's going for Michigan Bureau. Set to golf. Wildcats. Set to receive. Kickoff by the Mules is started by number three four. is top put to number seven to the top. Kim will be happy again this time on the shallow route going left to right. He's out across the right side.
First of for the mules. And the 26 for the ball to the My blue pass is...
pretty much his way to the third down there. Kibbles, quick toss to Richardson. He's at the cross throw, right hand side, he makes his way to the cross throw. Quickstream is not bad. And before that play, could you get it? Ball is stripped from the pocket and recovered by the Wolves. And so the Wolves um, Hill offense will take over and the Canadian defense will take the field. Martinez, number three, Mauricio Herrera. Her takes a completion. Neil's good ball to Sagawa, and Sagawa carries that in to the end zone, and that's going to be good for the game. And Herrera's extra attempt to be an open skewer. And so it is. Yeah. So the mule will set you off from the 40 yard line. And Ken Cigar will be the kicking duties for the mules. That kick is good about the first time. With Kerry on the quarterback count. Um, he's going to. This time, handoff goes to the team. He takes the ball. Kerry with the ball. Kimber, once again, on the carry. He carries the ball inside the five yard line where he has tackled. However, there is a flag on the play. He's a chill out. Let's give him a lot of touches by the gas. Two more balls. After all, after each point in the sideline for instruction and hydration, we will return to the Let's keep going down. Tackle made by a host of Wildcat defenders. Let's keep going down. Tackle made by a host of Wildcat defenders. Let's keep going down. Tackle made by a host of Wildcat defenders. Let's keep going down. Tackle made by a host of Wildcat defenders. Let's keep going down.
Happy Mills shift out the swing gate into the X4 formation. The kick is up and it's good. And with eight minutes and nine seconds remaining. Wildcats keep the ball on the ground. Kindle is tackled without bounds by number 10. Oh, that left side line by number Kindle is three packs to mix it out of the background. The door for it. Cross the line again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the two back set. Hand off down with the wicket seat. He carries the ball out and cross the left hand side. Oh, 
Oh, his pass is incomplete. That was your four seats Wildcats, and that's going to bring up first and ten for the mule. He was a handoff to number two. Okay, we got Chris Gallo once again, and he takes the ball across the goal line for a new touchdown. And the Mules have a sweet new relationship back to the point. This point kick is up and it's good. And so with one minute, not consistent. Number three, where was Kick is Kill's pass to Davis. This point, however, is a bad play and appears to be. Here's Mark. He'll skip the ball on the ground, hand off goes to Seagal. He's got We have a timeout on the field. Timeout taken by the Mules with 34 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Hayes with the keeper. He's had a short of the line today. He goes with the handoff to number nine, Harris. He takes the ball inside the 15 yard line. That's good for the line today. And the Mules stop the clock with nine seconds remaining in the second quarter. Completely of mules that appears to be the final play of the half. And so, with two quarters play and two quarters remaining, as our teams prepare to go.
First kickoff is Kilvin and brought out to the 38 yard line. On the return for the Wildcats is number 21, Slade Dickinson. And that's going to set the Wildcats up to begin their drive. First and 10 from the check that. Let's make that the 49 yard line. Um, one yard shy of midfield. And so the Wildcats will take over first and 10 from the 49. Keep the ball on the ground. Handoff goes to Dickinson. He carries the ball. Once again, the Wildcats keep the ball on the ground. Handoff goes to Dickinson. He carries the ball inside the 15 yard line. However, there is a flag on the play. Second five for the Wildcat offense. Wildcat's going to hand off to Dickinson. Dickinson makes his way across the 30 yard line where he is tackled. Wildcats keep the ball on the ground. Hand off to Slade and Dickinson. He... Put a toss from Kittle to Dickinson. He cuts it up inside the left half and makes his way. Kittle with 
keeper. Off right guard, he may. Bobcats keep the ball on the ground. Tap it up the 10 yard line, hard to is point to number 10, Sigala. Martins with the keeper on the scramble. is top three. Two of the head off to He's Marquez pass, three, number three, where it is. The spring is up and it's good. And so, with two minutes and 30 seconds remaining to play in the third quarter, your score is Mules 51, Wildcats 31. It's for the Mules.
Kindle on the home run for the Wildcats. And for the Wildcat off the building. Kindle's pass is complete to number three, Kendra Cook. is complete for the Kilburn team and play for Rob Davis. Kilburn's pass to the third of the play. Hang out with me and go to the Dickinson. Cigala. Cigala carries
My team's passed to to go and it's complete.
Thank you. 